it's Natasha and Khalil and we are the co-hosts of Woke and Free. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in to our 219th episode of Woke and Free. If you've been tuning in every week for Woke and Free Wednesday, you know that Woke and Free is all about being real and honest with each other and you. We talk about everything and anything important to us, you, the world, and nothing is off the table. This week, we're asking a really interesting question, which is, would you ever switch bodies with another person? Before we dive deep into the subject, a couple of things to cover. First, have you gone to WokenFree.com to not only listen to this episode, but to download it through the Podbean app so that you can add your comments and you can join the Woken Free Wednesday conversation. If not, please do it immediately. Thank you. Monster voice. Now, uh, if for whatever the reason you can't download uh, another app on whatever device you listen to podcasts on, then go to WokenFree.com, go to the Listen tab and pick your platform of choice where you're going to listen, to follow, and subscribe to the show. For instance, we got to sh- give our shout out and love for those on iTunes, on TuneIn, Stitcher, Google Play, our YouTube subscribers, SoundCloud, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Pandora. Guys, it's a Woken Free world. Be a part of it. Now, of course, on WokenFree.com, we also ask that you subscribe to follow the show and make sure you've done that. And then on social media, find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, Pinterest, LinkedIn, at Woken Free. And if you have 90 seconds, yes, 90 seconds. It's COVID. You have 90 seconds. Uh, please review the show on any platform of choice where you can review shows at. So again, WokenFree.com, listen tab, have at it. I'm kicking it back to you, Khalil. Body, yaddy, 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 yaddy. Hey, Would what? you ever switch bodies with another person? You know, I love me <laughs> some really good Megan Stallion. Oh, that, that's what that is? That And her body okay. is fab. Wow. <laughs> so she's phenomenal. All right, phenomenal. Wife. Not that we should be commenting on bodies because uh to what's his name oh man i forget uh, he just was uh, this famous actor who was asking people he's lost a lot of weight and he was asking people not to uh, is it jonas something he was asking people nick not jonas to, no um he uh, what films was he on he oh he was in uh What's the one with Leonardo DiCaprio that we love? And it's, he acts really like the. Oh, he was in The Wolf of Wall Street? Yes. He was, he was his companion friend. Oh, it's that guy. Yeah. That guy. He, I forget what, it's like Jonah something. I forget. I know you're talking about. He recently made a statement uh, a couple of weeks ago about people asking people not to comment on his body. And so. Really? Yeah, because it's, you know, he said it doesn't feel good, and he, it, whether it's a good or bad comment, just It doesn't feel good to, to hear avoid. positive comments. I mean, well, I, I love that, that idea. People just don't want to be objectified. It's objectification, right? Whether you're a man or a woman, it's... Talk to me about the content of, you know, what of I do. Of my character? Not, I mean. Yeah, not not how I physically look. But nonetheless, oh. we've, we're, we're on a yellow brick road. Let's turn it back. Yeah, and so ultimately... Would I switch bodies uh, with another person? No, because the grass isn't greener on the other side. The grass is greener where you you water it, right? I saw that on social media, and it's so, so very, very true. Other people's bodies might be banging, might be interesting, might be intoxicating even, but they're not yours. You know, loving yourself is sexy as hell. Uh, Loving every scar, every jiggle, every dimple, that's, that's really beautiful, and you're really beautiful as a person. And if you can't see that, then it doesn't matter what body you magically transformed into it's not you so love your body so that's interesting i guess you were thinking of it as permanently switching whether it's temporary or permanent you oh so you'd say no for both that doesn't change your answer all right i want to be in i want to be in my skin wow that's amazing i mean for me i'm ultra opposite of that i would i would especially love the ability to just go into out of different bodies as i please it'd be fun to explore someone else's life and experiences with the world Maybe this body has a larger lung capacity, so I could stay submerged for much longer than usual. Maybe this person is a woman, so I could experience life from a different point of view. Mm. So that's why I would definitely switch bodies. That is so interesting. So you'd be interested in being a woman? Yeah, definitely. (laughs) Fascinating. Okay, so then why do you think generally someone would want to switch bodies with another person with your own intentions involved in that answer or even just abroad? Again, mm-hmm. we got a plethora of reasons to switch, mm-hmm. but we'll go through some of them. It's a quick way to get the looks you might desire. So that's, I mean, that's kind of explain. I know you said, you know, you shouldn't do that, but it is a mm-hmm. possibility of doing that. You can live the lifestyle that you don't have. So you can be a jet setter if you're not in that lifestyle currently. You have the ability to go places you are not allowed to go. 
So it's like if I want to go to the back of the donut shop, I can't. But if I switch to the body of the co the worker there, then I can be in the kitchen now and I can see how the donuts are made and I can taste some of the donuts. Amazing. Okay. So see, I get that great capability. I got the ability to fly supersonic aircraft. That's always fun. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty cool. And then you also get the ability to use another person's power of influence. So mm. someone that might have a high ranking position, you get to be them like a general in the military. You will you can just turn to the general and then now you wield all that power. Or the so, Kardashian power. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Anybody of them. You could be an influencer if you want. Yeah, you can that, take, the, take over their body. Yeah. Okay. I believe it comes down to the following curiosity, low self esteem, lack of self love, uh, negative thoughts about their own self image. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this list is a lot different than my list. Correct. That's a lot of I know. <laughs> <laughs> and a lack of ongoing personal. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even understand how you could see it. That's just, wow. We see it from completely, completely pointing different points. perspectives. Yeah. Wow. That's interesting. Oh, man. Especially, I mean, to me, your points can't stand if you have the ability to go back to your yeah, body. Yeah, so mine is more coming from the place of permanent seat switching, right? Yeah, if maybe from to, that. But <laughs> otherwise, that's like, well, I'm only doing it temporarily. I have low self-esteem. I can't just... I can't have the right to go to the back of the donut shop. I mean, come on. That's like an extreme. That'd be messed up to say all that. It's an extreme way to feel. So how do you, how does one feel comfortable in their own skin? Oh, it's, it's hard to accept all your flaws, but the key is to remember that you and everybody else come from Stardust. So you're perfectly created. We exist at a, a small piece of this massive organism that we call Earth, and you're an important piece to that puzzle, so just cherish it. You are now listening to Woken Free. Woken Free. Woken Free. Woken Free. Woken Free. A podcast that gets real and personal. Absolutely. We are all stars. Yes. So there's a great Bustle article also that shares um, some different things to think about. So stop seeking validation from other people. Fake it till you make it, which some people argue against and for. You have to decide where you stand on that. Build your self-worth, uh, become self-aware, accept your weaknesses if you have any more. So I think look at every aspect of your personality and and, you know, existence as empowerment, but different forms of or different ways of expressing it. Uh, practice self-love, work on current personal issues, uh, and then also ask friends for their opinions. But be mindful because sometimes you have that hateration in your, in your network and you, you know, maybe you haven't been as self-aware about who should be in your camp <laughs> versus some people should not be in your camp. But, uh, I'm, I'm still tripping on the last. <laughs> What <laughs> the last thing we were discussing. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, that cause... really tickled me. Because <laughs> yours is like really cool and nerdy. And then mine is like this like psychological. It's like <laughs> depression, though. Yeah. I mean, what's going on? We're talking about something really. We're talking about a cool idea. Yeah. I mean, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still tripping on that piece. this day very differently. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I know. That was really funny. You I'm approach really... this episode a lot differently. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Talk about two sides of the coin. Man. Oh, man. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Very interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Our son thinks it's pretty funny. Or he thinks I'm pretty funny. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> he didn't understand how you came up with those uh, yeah, ideas. Mama's funny, right? He's yeah, like, wow. Absolutely. <laughs> Here we go, yo. Here we go, yo. So what's the, what's the, what's the scenario? It's scenario time, guys. Scenario one. Violet had a freaky Friday moment where her body got switched with the chief nursing officer at a local hospital. She is interested in the medical field, but doesn't know if she wants to actually go through the schooling for it. A voice speaks to her and tells her that if she doesn't get back to her original body by next Friday, she will permanently be stuck in this new body. What should Violet do? Be Violet. Like I said, I'm a strong advocate of being who you are in this world, in this in this time and space. I can't speak on how long or how many lives we have in this world or this universe, but if you're born into the body you are, obviously you can make whatever 
anatomical changes that you deem necessary for you for kind of what is your authentic truth in this world but if you all ultimately totally get out of your body i i just recommend always finding your way back in <laughs> but how about you yeah i mean i think she should probably get back to her body because she doesn't even know if she wants to go into the medical field mm-hmm. so to be stuck as that chief nursing officer for the rest of your life, and that's not even what you wanted to do. Well, technically, you're not stuck. I guess you could always change a career, too, but... That's true. It's just weird, though, to be in someone else's body and doing that when you yeah. still could... You could be in your own body and just start from that point, so... Yeah. I think it'd be... Yeah, she's got to find out how can she get back to her body. Like, if she has to go to a fountain and drink the special water, I don't mm-hmm. know. But do whatever she can do to try to get back to square one yep that would be the solution scenario two branscombe has worked out all his life and taken supplements which have caused his body to deteriorate to the point he cannot move a warlock approaches him and tells him he can exchange his body with another younger body should he take up the warlock's offer i don't even know what to tell you what is this like <laughs> get out meets versus Wishmaster. i mean <laughs> i'm so tired the, the gin the gd this is where did this this is a scenario it came from the I'm ether so tired it's a scenario it's a real scenario if someone You're comes tired. up to you and tells you they're a warlock you should go the opposite direction <laughs> well i mean we're only assuming it's a warlock and no one but, knows for sure yeah apparently it appears like a warlock yeah. but we don't know it, absolutely it, it walks and talks like a warlock fascinating yeah yeah okay so i don't believe you should work with anyone who claims to be a warlock <laughs> <laughs> and thus i Come don't on. believe this this person should take the warlock up on their offer nor do i think that that offer is really gonna effectuate into anything other than something disastrous <laughs> in nature so no really no, uh, yeah find another way to work on healing okay i mean I agree with you that he should not take the offer, but not for the reason because of the, it's a warlock. Because I think you can't hate against the warlocks because what if they have a union? You can get in trouble with them. So I wouldn't mess around with that. All I would say is that you shouldn't be exchanging your body for someone else's body because what happens to that person? I think that's Correct. messed up. I think yeah. that's that's the big issue I have here. Like that other person has a life. You're trying to give them your body that you're the one who did all that stuff to. I mean, you need to you got to live with your what you did, right? Yeah. So Absolutely. I don't think you should be trying to escape it like that. So okay. that's my problem. Not the warlock, because I'm not trying to offend warlocks. You know? I'm not trying to offend I'm on warlocks. Their, I'm on their what good I'm side. saying <laughs> is that I, the idea of a warlock scares me. So that's oh, why it does. I'm saying the whole... Would you run then if, you, if they said yeah, that to absolutely. you? Absolutely. I've run from a lot of things. Though. Oh, okay. <laughs> when it comes to the magical world, I watch too many horrors and stuff. I find, like I said, I was just watching Wishmaster recently. It's too scary. Yeah. Mm-mm. Oh, all right. Fair enough. Yeah. Baby agrees too. <laughs> scenario three giovanna is obsessed with booty gains she takes supplements buys lifting clothes and tries new workouts to pump up her butt she stumbles across a shop that says it can make any wish come true when she enters inside there's a notebook with an instruction card that reads write down your one wish should giovanna wish to swap bodies with their favorite influencer so she can stop working so hard to get the look she oh so desires Nope, Giovanna should go into the nearest burger joint and have a really wonderful meal. And, <laughs> <laughs> and I think that oh. Giovanna should live her truth. And if she's tired of doing what she's currently doing, she does not need to swap bodies to change her lifestyle. She just needs to change her lifestyle and live with whatever her truth is going to be. Whatever her, she needs to find accept. It sounds like she has no acceptance of who she is and her body, but she's working on this kind of unattainable achievement uh, that so many of us are but you know I like many others also have no problem having a wonderful meal at a burger joint so okay. wow. <laughs> you know come to terms with who you are accept and love all of that booty regardless of the booty gains <laughs> that you could have from other measures of, of action and and cut it out you know have a have a freaking uh, milkshake call it quits nice. <laughs> <laughs> smart yeah how about you I think that she should test to see if this notebook really works. So she should write down she wants a a variable adjustable booty so she can change the size of it at any moment's notice. And if that works, then she knows that the wish is actually a true yeah, thing. Notebooks, writing in them. It you just wouldn't makes try me it to do Tom Riddle and Harry Potter. You want to see something actually occur? 
I just, I mean, you could just, just terrified, just terrified of the magic. You yeah. could write the world just has no more poverty. You could write something yeah, nice. Uh, you wouldn't write anything no, in the book. No, no, no. But it's just too scary because I don't and know world what hunger. The, I don't know what and the man, ultimate man, cost you can would put be. A lot of you know, because it's like yeah, end world hunger because everyone's dead. <laughs> <laughs> so well, there's no okay. one to be hungry if you're dead. Um, <laughs> the so, dead do not eat. Yeah, the dead do not eat here. Yeah, there is no dead. There the is dead no hunger. Not eat. Yeah, like no, it's too too much, guys. Okay. Too much. <laughs> uh, all right, so you won't even mess with the book. That's yeah, interesting. Absolutely. All right. And your answer? Well, I told you what you yeah. should do. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> all right. Well, you know, there's that then. <laughs> I, I, I'm totally freaked out and scared, and also tripping still. So on the Smart. previous thing, but yeah, you're still tripping I'm on still that. Still tripping on it. I told you. I, I really. I yeah. You just got obsessed with that. Wow. I get obsessed with okay. that. Yeah. Yeah. But ultimately. We can't take and discuss this forever because we are at that time again. It's the coming to the end of our 219th episode of Woke, Woke and Free. Free. What? <laughs> this was quite the episode discussing. What happened there? Would you ever switch bodies with another person? Khalil, tell them what to do next. All right, I'll tell them then. Come back next week for the new Woke and Free Wednesday episode. Make mm-hmm. sure you follow us on social media to follow along the conversation. And make sure you tune in next week for Woke and Free Wednesday to join the conversation at WokenFree.com. If you want to be guest, a guest on our show, we're definitely thinking about 2022 uh, content. So hit us up on our Contact Us page at WokenFree.com. That's W-O-K-E-N-F-R-E-E.com. Social media, we talked about it before. I'll say it again. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, Pinterest, LinkedIn at Woken Free and sponsorships and collaborations go figure contact us page at welcomefree.com if you didn't already subscribe please do share the episode and make sure you come back to join the conversation every wednesday for woken free wednesdays remember woken free is more than a podcast it is a way of life until next time